I'm in the kitchen. I saw uh, a chicken dish that uh, Island Vibe Cooking did. And so I want to cook it and bake it like that. Let's set the oven on 350 first. Let's do this. Because we're going to have to bake it, right? Well, okay. 350. 40 to 45 minutes is what she said. So, um, y'all, we have some chicken thighs, right? I've already washed and dried them. Uh, the seasonings are Creole seasoning. I use some basil because I don't like thyme. I use parsley, onion, and garlic powder, ground black pepper, paprika. I use some adobo and salt. Now what I'm going to do is drizzle some olive oil on this chicken because I think when you do olive oil, it helps the seasonings to stick to the meat. So uh, let's just pour a little olive oil over this chicken. How y'all doing today? What's for dinner on y'all table today? Y'all, I cut extra fat off the chicken as well. That I have done. Washed it really good. Got the, the residue off. Got these some big uh, these some big uh chicken thighs too. So that's it. Now I have already mixed the seasonings up. Can y'all see those? And we're going to gener generously season this chicken. I want to do it on the back first. And then we'll flip it over and get it underneath that skin. And y'all see I'm only using one hand wet, one hand dry. I want to pull this a little closer. Y'all, her chicken looks so good. Y'all know I'm a chicken lover now. Uh, I'm also going to be doing some um, uh, smothered okra and, uh, and uh, buttered rice. I'm not going to do the seasoned rice because the okra is going to have a whole lot of goodness in it on top of that rice. So I'm just going to do buttered rice. Make sure y'all get this all over this chicken. Oh, y'all, I just, I just know it's going to be good. I did another recipe of hers. And if I tell you it was bomb, I like her chicken recipes. Mm, that smell good. Don't be, don't be ashamed to pat the chicken. Pat it, baby, pat it. Pat it, baby, pat it. Y'all look. I'm going to see. Look how pretty that is already. Y'all see that? We're going to flip it. We're going to flip it now on the front. Let's get ready. And we're going to even put it underneath that skin, y'all. Oh, that's from what? Man, that smells good. Okay, this is a big piece. We're going to have to put that there. Okay. I want to put it underneath the skin first, y'all, just because I do on that meat down there. Ooh, yeah, baby. 
oh, this skin ain't up too much, but we'll try to, oh yeah, that's going to be good. Mm-hmm. And then, y'all, I'm not going to put it in the oven right now. I am going to let it soak for maybe an hour or two. I'm going to let it sit for maybe an hour or two before I bake it out. So I don't know why I cut that oven on right now. But I did. I wanted to soak up some of this goodness first. Y'all see I'm getting it all under that skin first, right? On that meat, on the meat part itself. It's a big old uh, thigh right here. Y'all, this pepper about to have me sneezing. <coughs> mm. Oh, bless me. <coughs> mm. Bless me, bless me, bless me. Yes. So we got it underneath that skin now, y'all. Lay that skin back on now. So that it's going to be crunchy when it cooks. I'm going to cook it uncovered for the first 30 minutes and then I'll cover it on the last. And that's just how I'm going to do it. That's not how y'all have to do it. That's how I'm going to do it. So it can get some good color. Oh, y'all, I'm so ready to get in this kitchen and start cooking uh, that uh, Thanksgiving food. My menu is already, I already wrote my menu out with the things I'm going to need to be picking up from the store as well. So I'm ready. But I will be at Mother's house, though, for a couple of hours. I don't know who else is going to show up in the family. Probably one of the one of one of three of the boys, at least the youngest of my I would I would think. Somebody screaming. That's a big piece of chicken. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's dirty. Oh, y'all got to see this. Wait a minute. I want to wash my hands, though. That's, that's sweet. That's going to be just delicious. I got some dishwater for y'all over here. I'm ready to show y'all the chicken before we, but again, y'all, I'm going to let it soak in. I'm just going to let it soak for about an hour, maybe two. And then I'll get ready to do the okra that came out of Mother's Garden. Y'all ready to see this chicken before we put it in the oven? Look at that, y'all. Look how pretty seasoned that is. So, we're going to set that aside. We're actually going to set it in the refrigerator. You know, this is poultry, y'all. Don't, don't leave it out too long. Let's go ahead and get that in to wash. Y'all want to see me do the okra? Okay, I'll be back. Bye. Okay, back again, hustlers. Now we're going to prepare the okra. Now, this okra came from Mother's Garden, so we're going to be doing that, right? 
And uh, what we're going to do is get this pot a little heated. Then we're going to pour some uh, vegetable oil in it on low. And then we're going to cook this okra on low uh, till we get some of that slime out of there, y'all. We don't want the slime. But what we're going to put in the okra, I've already cut up the uh, bell pepper, fresh garlic, and a yellow sweet onion. We're also going to use some stewed tomatoes. And we're going to use one can of tomato sauce. We're also going to use a bay leaf. And along with all the seasonings, we are using black pepper. Ground, per ground black pepper that is. Uh, we're going to be using some basil, garlic powder, and onion powder. We're going to be using uh, some all-purpose Greek seasoning. I love Greek seasoning, y'all. I put that on a lot. We're going to be using just a little salt. And, of course, you can't go without Lowry's. Okay? And um, I believe I want to sprinkle a little cayenne pepper. So let's take that out so I won't forget it. I want to sprinkle a little cayenne because I wanted a little spicy. Now, sometimes, depending on what I'm cooking, I will add a can of whole kernel corn with diced sausages, but I'm not putting neither one of them. I just want plain okra. So, without ado, let's do. And um, once we put that okra in, because it's still frozen, we're going to have to put the top on it for a minute. So, we're going to use just a little Crisco. We don't want a lot. I would say two and a half tablespoons. Because it's going to cook out as it cooks down, as that slime comes out of that okra. You know, Mother had one of those machines uh, for freezer uh, stuff as well. So I love it. Oh, that's going to be so good. So, 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 so good. So we'll let that heat up a little bit. We'll put this all up while we're waiting. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> Y'all, I'm hungry and um, I have some leftover seafood that I did last night. Um, them blue crabs were off the chart. And that sauce I made, the dipping sauce, it was truly good. And I still have B-Love's garlic Um Smack delicious sauce still in the the pantry. I just don't. Every time I make sauce, I forget about that it's in there, right? Okay. Now, guess what I bought at the store yesterday? Now, I'm not a big fan of turkey legs, right? But I found some smoked, very small turkey legs. Now, I might do the garlic sauce with that. With that. Uh, and some rice or something. I don't know. All right, y'all, we about to pour this in, and because it's still got that uh, ice on now, you know it's going to pop, right? Uh-huh. And I don't want to get burned in my face. So, here goes. Y'all heard, heard that sizzle? We'll let that sizzle do that sizzle what it sizzles and sizzles. So, just that fast. We're going to cook this on medium. Medium. Just so we can get some of that slime off. And uh, I'm going to do that open, y'all. Make sure y'all get that all in now. And it's just enough okra, too. She gave me two bags, actually. So, can y'all see... But the okra is just enough for a couple of days. I don't know, y'all. I may put some corn in here. I'm not sure. But we'll let that do what it do for a few minutes. Once it cook itself down a little bit, I will be back. Because I'm going to be adding the seasonings and the veggies and all that good stuff that we put in it. Let it cook down just a little bit. I'll be back. Hey, y'all. I'm back. 
So the okra was cooking down, and as y'all see, there ain't that much slime. So now, it's the, oh, that fresh okra from that garden smells so good. Now we're going to add our onion, garlic, and bell pepper. Smells so good. My goodness. Now I'm going to add about a half a tablespoon of Lowry's. Y'all, I don't measure. <laughs> I don't measure. Of course, y'all said a little cayenne because I wanted a little spicy. Half a teaspoon. <laughs> this Greek seasoning, I want at least a tablespoon of that. That's about a tablespoon. I want just a little salt, maybe a half a teaspoon. I want basil, a palm full of basil. Y'all see, a palm full of basil. I want about a tablespoon of uh, onion powder. And that's all that's left in now, but we have a whole new one, so don't worry about it. And then garlic powder. Uh, about a tablespoon. I love garlic powder, y'all. And then we'll add about a half of a tablespoon of black pepper, ground black pepper. Now, and we'll go ahead and put two bay leaves in there now. And we'll give it a stir. We'll keep it on the medium heat. I will let this cook until these onions get a little translucent. And before the garlic burns. Oh, y'all. That's going to be good. And then we'll add in the tomato uh, solution. But we'll go ahead, once we get this stirred up really good, uh, we'll go ahead and get those cans open. I've already wiped them off, y'all, from being in the pantry. Oh, y'all, that smells so good. Let's get these cans open. Oh, that smells good. I know I keep saying that it smells so good. And I'm not going to drain these stewed tomatoes. I'm going to let them go in with their juices, y'all. And I'm not going to add any water with this tomato sauce either. Don't forget to wash off y'all cutter, y'all, because that stuff get put in there. Don't don't uh, leave it on there. I learned that many years ago. It gets nasty when you do so. So don't don't uh, leave it on there. Oh y'all, I wish I y'all want to see this. But y'all can see it. Maybe we'll do a close up next time. Come on, Bailey, get under that. I just talked to my sister. She said it was probably going to surprise me, knock on my door. <sighs> you know, thank goodness. <sighs> I was, I'm dressing up. Uh, my cowboys playing, it was 06. When I last look, and also the Texans are playing today as well. They look good, but they need to cook, they need to cook down a little more. Y'all, back to the drawing board on tomorrow. Work, work, and work it is. But, uh, just a couple of more weeks, we're going to be on turkey break. Cheers. I'm about to eat some leftover seafood. Soon as I get this to simmer. Once we put in the tomato pie, pie um, products, 
we're going to let it come to a boil and then I'm going to let it simmer on low, simmer on low for about 20 minutes because I don't like my okra mushy. I like it with a hint of a crunch and every time mother gives me the okra out of her garden, it always has that crunch effect and I love it. I love it. All right, y'all, those onions look a little transparent, see through to me. Mm -hmm. But the aroma is fabulous. So go ahead and add your tomatoes. And they're stewed, y'all. I love stewed tomatoes in my okra. Somebody's flying down them stairs like crazy. I don't understand why. They have to stomp down the stairs. Ooh, y'all, that's going to be good. Mm, 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 mm. You know, they'll break down as well once they uh, cook. Y'all, that looks good. Mm, 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 mm. It looks good already. Y'all got to see this. I got to bring it to you. I just got to bring it to you before we pour that tomato sauce in there. Look at that. Oh, can you smell it? Too bad this is not scratch and sniff, right? Let's go ahead and add the tomato sauce. And I forgot, I like to sprinkle a little chicken bouillon in here as well. Maybe a tablespoon. Oh, and it's going to be nice and semi-thick and it's going to flow so well over that buttered rice. Oh my goodness. Oh, it smells good, y'all. Now, I like to give it a taste now uh, because whatever your juice tastes like, that's what your product and your okra is going to taste like. So this is where you can uh, add more of your seasonings. So, let's give this a taste. Damn. We don't need nothing else. Ooh, that's highly seasoned. That's good. That is so darn good. We don't need anything else. So it's coming to a ball. This is what it looked like, y'all. And we're going to let that simmer for about 20 minutes. Once it boils, I'm going to cut it down on low. And then uh, we're going to cover it and just let it simmer. And uh, I'll show you the, the rest once I fix my plate to eat for dinner today. Because now it's been about... An hour or so, hour and a half since I seasoned that chicken. So now I am about to put the chicken in the oven. Once again, y'all, it's on 350 for 45 minutes. But for 30 of those minutes, I'm going to cook it uncovered to give it the color. And then I'll cover it to finish cooking it. And I'll show y'all that on my plate as well. Well, I may have to do a picture with that one. I'll show y'all. No worries. All right, y'all. We on a boil. Let's cut it down. And let's cover it up. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.